Hey there guys and gals and welcome back to D4A channel. As you can see, today we're in the great outdoors. Now the weather is really crappy and I don't mind because today I'm actually taking some concrete steps towards making my bike carb conversion engine build a reality. And what I'm doing today is I'm assembling my engine block. Now some things I have already done when it comes to the engine block and the crankshaft is that I have ground down the crankshaft 0.25 millimeters which means that I have reduced the size of the journals by 0.25 millimeters and to suit that crankshaft I have gotten some um, bearings actually oversized bearings which are 0.25 millimeters thicker to suit the crankshaft. What I have also done is I have re-owned the engine block and I have washed the engine block and the crankshaft into oblivion with some OCD washing. So what I have here in my trunk right now, as you can see, is my engine block and my crankshaft all nicely packed. I also have my, these are the, the camera is horrible today, the main bearings. And I have, actually these are the main bearings, and those are the Conrad bearings. So these are new 0.25 millimeters oversized bearings. My pistons and my Conrads and the main bearing caps and everything else is in this box in the front seat. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head on the road and I'm going to go to the machine shop and check all the measurements once again to make sure everything is great and have the engine block assembled. For the assembly, I have some assembly lube and I guess that's, that's pretty much it. Let's get this show on the road. We have some driving to the machine shop and then we're going to proceed right away to the checking of the measurements and the assembly of the engine block. So there's been a slight change of plan. I'm actually on my way back from the machine shop and I did hope that I was going to have the whole engine block assembled today. That means the crankshaft in 
and the pistons and the con rods in. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen today because after checking all the measurements, we found out that actually the, the connecting rods are not in spec uh, and that they will need to be resized. So that means a couple of more days of waiting for the con rods to be resized. But what's, uh, what's actually not that bad is that my oil pump still hasn't arrived. So in the meantime, as my oil pump arrives, we'll have the con rods resized, resized and I'll be able to start the engine assembly. Now, uh, I actually initially thought that the only two things damaged by the blast media that got into my oil pump was the oil pump itself and all the bearings in the engine. Unfortunately, it seems that the rod knock my engine was experiencing actually managed to, to get the con rods out of spec as well. So that's going to be another thing that's going to, you know, need to be fixed. But I'm, I'm still happy, uh, progress has been made and even a little bit of progress is better than no progress. So I guess that's it for today. Uh, this will be this will actually be a two-part thing. So I thought the engine block assembly thing was going to be just one bit, but I guess it's going to be this video and then a bit of an of another video where I'll do you know this assembly of the engine block and then I'll put the, try to put the whole assembly of the entire engine in that video as well. So that's it for today. Short little trip, a little bit of fun in the machine shop. That was definitely. A nice experience. I always like hanging around in machine shops. You get to see all the cool parts and the machines, you know, and all the other bits of engines that get, you know, car guys excited. So, as I said, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying tuned. Don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe, as always. And see you soon on the D4A channel.